Welcome to Tailoring Your Resume for MSW Field Experience with Walden Career Services. In this brief presentation, we will discuss tailoring your resume, review the various resume sections and some resume tips, and leave you with additional resources to enhance your resume. When crafting a resume, dedicate substantial effort to tailor it to the position. The first step is to research your field experience site and review the qualifications and requirements being sought. Next, consider how you compare to these qualifications. We recommend that you write strong achievement or skill statements using the CAR formula, which stands for Challenge, Action, Result. Start each of these statements with a strong action verb. To have greater impact, be sure to quantify your accomplishments whenever possible, with how many or how much. Also, keep in mind that a strong resume shows versus tells. In other words, you want the reader to gain insight on how you can actually perform a task instead of just stating the skill. Finally, throughout the, your resume, Summarize your qualifications so the reader knows what your abilities are and how they can benefit from them. In the end, show how you can provide value and meet the employer's challenges. Let's review this word cloud for various sections that you might include in your resume. Typically, after your name and contact information at the top of your resume, you will start with a summary section, then on to your education and experience sections. Following those areas, you may want to include your credentials, volunteer experience, internships, honors and awards, to name a few. Now let's go into further detail regarding each section. Your contact information should be at the top. Include your full name, along with any relevant credentials you may have. Also, include your address, phone number, and a professional email. Make sure the voicemail message on your telephone is professional. Here are two examples of how you may choose to format your contact information at the top of your resume. Then, at the top, we recommend including a summary section. It is commonly called a career profile, professional summary, or highlights of qualifications. In this section, you will want to sum up your experience, relevant degrees, and skills by highlighting your accomplishments most relevant to the position or field. This is your opportunity to provide the reader with an overview of what you have to offer. Identify your transferable skills by answering the questions. What contributions can I make to the potential organization? And what skills and knowledge do I offer? Here are a few examples of a summary section. In the first example, the individual has bullet points for four key skill areas. She has bolded the keywords to catch the reader's attention. Notice that the keywords highlighted, such as Master of Social Work, engaged professional, volunteer, community member, along with crisis interve intervention techniques and life skills workshops all stand out in the text to easily catch the reader's eye. The key words you choose to highlight should be those most relevant to the position you are seeking. In the professional summary example, the candidate is showcasing her areas of expertise in legal research, group facilitation, and foster care. Then she provides a summary of her background and highlights, a few key accomplishments to support the areas of expertise listed above. This is an example of showing versus telling. Your next section will typically be your education. Start with your current degree and list the degree name, school name, location, and graduation year. If you have yet to graduate, state expected and the year the degree is expected to be completed. You may have additional information to add here, such as GPA, honors, awards, or relevant coursework. 
Here are three examples of how you can format your education section. We advise to first list your degree in concentration at the date, which is typically right aligned. Again, if your degree is in progress, list expected in the year. You will then list your school name, such as Walden University, University and the location, which is Minneapolis, Minnesota. You can then add additional information, such as coursework, achievements, or GPA. Now on to your experience sections. First create a tailored section title. If you have experience in the field of social work, this may be called social work experience. If you are transitioning careers, consider a title that best summarizes your background and is relevant to your new career field. Inside this section, list your position title, dates of employment, and the organization name. Below this, you will list your achievement and skill statements following the CAR formula of challenge, action, and result. Here you want to provide detailed information on the skills you used and they, how they are relevant to social work. Keep in mind your experience section can also include volunteer activities relevant to social work as well. Here are two examples of experience sections, both formatted similarly. The first example is titled Volunteer Experience and includes the job title of Volunteer along with listening, listing the organization, dates of employment, and a brief description of the role in this position. In the second example is titled Professional Experience and again lists the job title, organization, and dates of employment. Notice that this individual is in job transition and is she is presently working as an insurance agent. Let's take a closer look at the skills highlighted in the bulleted statements as they are all transferable to this field of social work. Keywords highlighted here include provided insurance, established trusting relationships, applied active listening skills, as well as organized and delivered workshops. Finally, you can add additional sections to further showcase your skills on your resume and prove you are the candidate of choice. You may create a section for relevant coursework, credentials, professional associations, volunteer or community involvement, trainings, awards, internships, and relevant skills or interests. Choose the sections most relevant to you and your background. These extras are what can help set you apart. Before we conclude, here are some general resume tips to follow as you craft your tailored resume. As we review these tips, keep in mind that consistency is key to developing a strong format. First, use an 11 to 12 point for main content. Increase your name to a font size of 14 to 18 points. Use bold, underline, italicize, and bullet points to add emphasis. Avoid overemphasizing by applying too many format options in one section. Use an appropriate page length. If you are new to the field of social work, your document will most likely be one page. If you have a background in social work, it may be two full pages. Refrain from using personal pronouns such as I and me. And finally, double check your spelling. You don't want to exclude yourself from candidacy because of typos. Finally, here are additional resources Career Services offers as you enhance your resume. Visit our Career Services Center website at careercenter.waldenu.edu. Here you have access to Resumes and CVs tab. We also encourage you to view the Crafting Effective Resumes webinar on our Archive Webinars page. 
Optimal Resume is also a very useful tool to create or enhance your resume. This online system can help you to develop top-notch, results-oriented application materials targeted to specific job opportunities. Once you create a new account, visit the Resume Samples and click on the Social Work category to review MSW Samples resumes. After you have viewed our resources and created your targeted resume, feel free to contact us for additional assistance. Schedule a telephone career advising appointment from your MyWalden portal and select Resume as the reason for your appointment. At that time, you will be able to upload your resume for review. A career advisor will call you at the time of your appointment and provide feedback on your resume. Thank you for viewing Tailoring Your Resume. Get connected with Career Services by joining our LinkedIn group and following us on Twitter. You can also view our blog to stay up to date on student success stories. We hope this will help you to build a winning resume.